what's up y'all welcome back to exotic tea blog i want to thank my 1k subscribers i love y'all and if you're new to the channel like comment and subscribe make sure you hit the notification bell for more videos so let's get into some thanks go start up with the queen of rap Nicki minaj so Nicki minaj has now surpassed 53 million monthly listeners on spotify and now is the female rapper with most monthly listeners in the app so this is a very good look for the queen of rap Nicki minaj winning every single day every day a new starts for the queen of rap and Nicki minaj is going to keep winning nobody's going to take her off that spot doja is number two and Koi is number three so the queen of rap winning y'all should keep streaming and less fashion moving on from there Nicki minaj also has now gained over 1 million streams from the pink friday album with the announcement of a second album pink friday 2 so fans are actually streaming the main pink friday album and now it's its biggest streaming day ever since this album came out in like how many years Nicki Minaj queen of rap gaining more engagement so the queen also winning and allegedly Nicki and Uzi are filming a music video for their song Endless Fashion. I love this hair. I can't wait for the music video to come out. I really love Endless Fashion. That's my favorite song on the album. That's my favorite song on Uzi's album. So I really want the video to come out anytime soon. And I think that's also going to be good promotion for the Queen of Rap. Nicki Minaj and also Uzi are actually going to debut on the viewboard. So I want you all to stream this song and let me know in the comment section if you think the video is gonna be fire let me know moving up it's cardi b quickly so the cardi b fans aka the body gang are not really happy with cardi b and they aren't happy the cardi collaborating with all this unpopular artists and also doing all this cheap remixes so i want y'all to let me know in the comment section how you feel about this i'm just gonna tell them something and i keep saying it i don't think cardi can do a solo music right now I don't think 100% Cardi can do solo music. She have to help on other female rappers wave. And by the way, she told um, Fendi the rapper that this song was gonna be the song of the summer. So allegedly, if the song is gonna be a song of the summer, y'all should be excited because Cardi like made Glow song tomorrow a popular hit. So if the song, according to Cardi B, is gonna be a song of the summer, y'all should be excited. Because right now, I don't think Cardi can put out a solo project. She thinks it's going to flop. Because Atlantic did not really push her song her ish with Kanye West and Dirk. She thinks any solo song she put out wouldn't get a push. But she don't remixes even if it flops. She wouldn't mind because it's not her song. She just went off like the, what's the name, put it on the floor again, remixed that flop and did nothing. She paid dust to the song only because it flopped. Cardi B in the song was like a tomorrow to when go viral. Y'all would be saying, oh, it's a Cardi B song, it's a Cardi B song. So she's scared of putting out music. So I want y'all to let me know in the comment section how you feel about that. Moving over to Sexy Red and Tasha K. So Sexy Red and Tasha K went back and forth on IG. And I don't really want to say too much about this. So I got a screen record of the clip. So I'm just going to put it on my video. Y'all should watch and listen to what Tasha K said. She was upset over the tweet that I uh, put out because I seen what happened at the BET Awards, okay? And I saw Sukiyana get dressed, make a video, didn't walk a red carpet, half naked, titties out, ass out, everything like that. Nobody called her on stage, nobody asked her to read an award, nobody gave her an award, nobody asked her to perform. But Sexy Red threw on some jeans from Rainbow with the diamond belt, okay? in a swimsuit top and went down there to the BT Awards, walked the red carpet, okay, with that $23 outfit on, and she had a quick weave in. That wasn't no frontal. And performed in front of Deacon's Booty Hole Brown. I said, you have got to be kidding me. Sukiana has been on the whole culture stroll for a minute out here. She has even thrown up on a penis. She was upset over the for some clout. And you mean to tell me Sexy Red came in, you, you co-signed her, and she gets a co-sign from Nicki Minaj before you? I said, who gonna say something? I don't know what it what Lord is trying to 
trying to tell you. Because you've been out here, you've been making songs, you even got girls eating coochie in the videos. And ain't no major rapper jumped on a song with you, but yet you get no all fours to let them walk you like a dog for some. If I'm a non-factor, why are you under my comments? Why are you going back and forth with me? You're claiming my facts are off. I asked you to name facts, spell facts. You came back saying this could get critical. You still have yet to state your facts because you are fighting Sukiana's battle instead of worrying about Keeping your booty hole brown because I'm telling So that was what went down between Tasha K and Sexy Red and also Suki Anna Gold. And I'm actually here advising Tasha K and Sexy Red. I don't think they should be in a split right now. I think Tasha K should go and make things up with Sexy Red. And also Sexy Red making things up with Tasha K is going to make sense. So, I don't see the reason why these two people will be beefing. So, I want y'all to let me know in the comment section if you think Sexy and Tasha should be friends. Moving over to Flo Millie and Nicki Minaj. So, fans are actually calling Flo Millie out and saying she was throwing shit at Nicki Minaj for not mentioning Nicki Minaj as her top three best rapper alive. You know, she mentioned Beyonce, Rihanna, and also like Lil Wing. And Beyonce and Rihanna are not actually rappers. So, I think, and honestly, I don't want to say anything. Let y'all not say I'm just being a barb. So, I want y'all to listen to the clip. Top three? Oh, definitely Beyonce, Rihanna, and Lil Wayne. Okay. Okay, Beyonce is definitely hip hop. She, she's, she's giving us a couple of bars. So I want y'all to let me know how you feel about what she said in the comment section but I think Flamili was just stating her own opinion. She never said Nicki Minaj wasn't a good rapper and Flo Milly is like a Nicki Minaj fan. So Flo Milly is like a barb and it's not really the first time she's coming out to say that. So I don't see the reason why y'all being online dragging Flo Milly for no reason. Y'all should calm down. Flo Millie is just a rapper and she's not really popping. She can't even stand close to Nicki Minaj. So, Flo was just giving her opinion and I think her opinion sucks. So, I want y'all to let me know in the comments section how you feel about that. And finally, moving over to my girl, Sweetie. So, today's Sweetie birthday and she turned 30. So, I want to say a happy birthday to Sweetie. I really love Sweetie and I would love good music from Sweetie. So, happy birthday to Sweetie. And I think if she got like good writer, she gonna make good music. I want y'all to let me know if you support Sawidi and you like her music. Let me know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell for more videos. Thanks y'all for subscribing. And also, I love y'all and usual thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.